3 in the morning right now and I can't sleep so I thought why not make a video. Um, I'm going to do something I probably won't do very often and that is talk about my experiences with bullying and hopefully at the end of this give some advice on how to deal with it. Uh, first off, I'm not doing this for sympathy, I'm not doing this for attention, I'm just telling you a bit about me, Rene, and uh, sharing my experiences with you guys. So, basically the entire way through school I was bullied um, because I'm a wrestler and I have been now for God, almost 10 years. But all the, all the way through my school life, I was picked on because of it. Like, for the first few years, like, no one, like, none of my mates knew really about it. And when I finally plucked up the courage to talk about it, I was picked on for it straight away. Um, I was told that it was weird, I'm weird, I'm sad, I need to grow up, I was asked if I was gay. Um, people were taking the piss um, to the point where in year 11 me being a wrestler was a insult um, and at that point it made me feel like I was weird I, w I wasn't normal and then all I wanted to do was fit in. All I wanted at that point was to just fit in. But for some reason I couldn't. And I'm going to be honest, at that point I wanted to quit. And I did in year 11. I think I quit for about six months. Um, because I didn't want to deal with the hate anymore. And a friend of mine made me realize this and this is the reason why I'm talking about this now is I have a few niggles in life shall we say that cause me to instead of dealing with problems run from them because of this I guess he asked me how many times I'd come in on a Monday morning and sat with them at a table in the lunch hall and wanted to talk about a fight I had on the weekend but chose not to and I put it simply, it was every time after every match I'd go in excited to tell people and then realise it was best if I didn't because I'd avoid then getting bullied and then feeling like crap and whatever. And it really made me realise that although I was picked on for so long about it, that I'm not weird for enjoying something that's not normal. Like, I know I'm not alone with um, this kind of problem. Like, there's people out there that are bullied for the way they dress or the music they listen to and stuff. Like, stupid as that. And for me, like now, looking back, I've been doing something I loved for a long time and I've become really successful and I'm not trying to sound big headed or anything but basically what I'm trying to say is no matter how much crap people give you for doing something that's not normal if you enjoy it just do it don't worry about it don't let what people say change how you feel about whatever it is you're doing whether it be like me wrestling or anything from music whatever if you are any pastime or hobby or just something you enjoy don't stop doing it if you love it do it and i can't say how glad I am that I decided not to give it up permanently. Um, because I, it, it was a dream for me to step foot in the ring. And I accomplished that and no one can take that away from me. No one. 
and just I'm kind of glad I got well not glad but I'm thankful that I got the hate I did because it it gave me something to put into my performances or put in training sessions if I need motivation because at that point I just wanted to prove everyone wrong like I was like no this isn't weird but I've, I've gone off on a tangent again but as as I said dare to be unique do not worry about what other people think if you love whatever it is you're doing just do it don't give it up excuse me do not give it up no matter what if you love it if you enjoy doing it if it's something you've always wanted to do just do it god i'm shy la buff <laughs> or however you say that dude's name um but yeah don't ever let bullies or negative comments or whatever change who you are as a person or your perspective on yourself or anything because you're you and you should be so proud of that you're unique you're doing something you enjoy as i've said many times in this video and probably too much you're doing something you love and you should be very very proud of yourself if you have kept on going after bullying and stuff but the best advice as i've said i can give to you is if you are being bullied because of something else or being bullied at all actually just tell someone uh, whether it be your parents, a teacher at school, um, even higher up, heads of faculty or whatever, heads of years. Um, don't keep it bottled up. Just tell someone. And if it is, like I had snide little comments about what you do in your free time. Figuratively here, give them the finger and just do it. Fuck what they say. Excuse my language, but... Fuck them. Do you? And if you are, don't be afraid to be unique. Uh, so, I really want to say thank you to the few people that have popped up to me on Facebook and stuff. Basically, saying really nice things to me. Like, um, they already know because I told them it really did make my day what they were saying to me and I'm glad I could help people and I'm glad I'm inspiring people I guess um but I, I did make a whole video on this but this is to the people giving me shit and I'm sorry if this video is getting a lot uh, a bit long-winded but do you understand how much it takes to talk about the stuff I've sp uh, spoke about recently or do you know how much courage it takes to throw yourself out on the internet and expose yourself to hate like you guys have given uh, sorry some of you guys have given me recently it takes an awful lot um I admit I struggle to make videos sometimes because I'm worried that I'll get shit or whatever but end of the day if if you don't like what i'm posting don't watch don't subscribe don't do anything with the channel um just i i don't need it or want it really after every po uh, every upload sorry i've made has been um a shitstorm really that is completely uncalled for all I'm doing here is trying to help people. End of the day, you don't like it, don't watch it. Like, I'm not saying everyone has to like what I'm posting. It's fine, you don't. But please just don't give me shit for it. Because it does take an awful lot to do this. And it's, it is a lot harder than you think. And I, I get shit like, oh... 
when people whinge about the quality and stuff. Sorry, uh, I'm only 17. I can't afford professional cameras and all this shit. But at the end of the day, I'm doing this f- to help people, as I've said. This, is, this isn't for me. This is for the people that come to my channel for advice. Or people that need the advice. Um, yeah, once again, thanks to all the people who have uh, said some really nice things to me. And I'm sorry that this video is a lot longer than normal. <laughs> Uh, and I'm sorry if it didn't make a lot of sense, and I've rambled on about things. Uh, 